the reasons for the stock market's weak performance recently is inflation. We found that inflation for the month of January rose to a much higher than expected level of 8.7% from 8.1% in December. It also defined expectations that inflation would really peak last year. And while inflation slowed to 8.6% in February, the problem is still far from over. For inflation, which excludes volatile prices of food and transport, continued to accelerate to 7.3% from 7.4% in January. High inflation is not good for stocks because of its negative impact on consumer spending. Weak consumer spending would lead to lower sales and profits for listed companies, negatively affecting their share price performance. High inflation also leads to higher interest rates. High and sticky inflation was the main reason why the DSP raised rates by an aggressive 50 basis points in its February meeting. The BSP will also most likely raise rates in its next meeting because of high February inflation. High interest rates are not good for stocks since the resulting increase in bond yields would make fixed income assets more attractive. Despite the negative impact of high inflation on the economy and the stock market, there are reasons to be hopeful. Falling commodity prices globally, the weaker US dollar, and the easing of supply chain bottlenecks with the reopening of China should help ease inflation. For example, the CRB index, which measures the price of a basket of commodities, is now 15% down from its peak. Meanwhile, the peso is back to the 54 to 55 level after hitting a yeah. peak of 59 last year. The government's plan to maintain the tariffs on important commodity products such as rice, corn, pork, and coal for the rest of 2023 should also help. Finally, although the BSP's aggressive rate hikes will hurt economic growth in the short term, the resulting drop in the bank should reduce pricing pressure and help bring inflation back to a more sustainable level of 3 to 4 percent. Most economists expect inflation to be in the first quarter and slowly trend lower for the rest of the year. If this happens, the BSP will most likely cut interest rates later this year, and this will be good for the stock market. Because of this, there is good reason to stay optimistic despite the market's peak performance recently. Before we wrap up the show, we need to the quote from former U.S. Congressman Kevin Ray. Inflation destroys 